Hello guys, I'm Dr. Alicia and in this video, I'm going to discuss with you the preparation strategy for NEET SS 2022. So uh, the NEET SS 2022 is going to be held on 18th of June and uh, it's around 130 days for this exam. So first some facts regarding the NEET SS. So uh, this is a new pattern exam and there are going to be 150 questions and uh, the time allotted is around 150 minutes. So there is going to be one minute for each question in this exam. Now, uh, uh, an interesting thing in this exam is that if you've done pediatrics, then you can sit for uh, exams that cover not only pediatric super specialities, but also pulmonary medicine and certain medicine specialities. If you've done medicine, then you're also eligible for pediatric neurology. And since in this exam there are 150 questions, they will be from a broad speciality. So if you're appearing for a medicine speciality exam, example, if, you, if you're appearing for adult endocrinology then you're going to be asked 150 questions of medicine if you are appearing for pediatric uh, neurology irrespective of the fact that you are a pediatrician or a physician you'll be asked 150 questions of pediatrics so you will be asked 150 questions of a broad speciality and uh, there is no subdivision into general part and a speciality part the first time in this neat ss exam so recording this video on 1st of February, there are about 130 days for this NEET SS and I think this is just appropriate time to prepare for any speciality, super speciality exam because uh, if you sit and study with wholeheartedness for 130 days for one exam, I think uh, this amount of time is pretty good. So uh, uh, if uh, I'm going to tell you the preparation strategy for this NEET SS. So in this 130 days, I think you should divide 50% of your time into the first read and 50% of your time into revisions. And the 50% revision time can be further divided into 30% time for first revision and 20% time for second revision. So uh, this 130 days, you can divide it into 70 and 60. And the first 70 days you can divide, uh, you can divide this first 70 days for the first read. So first read of the entire pediatrics because all the questions will be from general pediatrics in this neat essays. By general pediatrics, I don't mean just general pediatrics, general plus systemic pediatrics. So the entire pediatrics is being cons considered as general pediatrics. So for the first 70 days, you can go through your first read. This first read has to be a very comprehensive read. And in this read, uh, you should make sure that you have covered each and every topic from where it is supposed to be read. So uh, from where to read what I have discussed in a separate video, you can go through what to read for NETSS in a separate video for pediatrics. Uh, but for in this first 70 days, you have to, you should um, go through all the uh, subjects or all the uh, super specialties example uh, cardiology neurology nephrology endocrinology all these uh, units you can uh, divide time based on what are your weak areas and what are your strong areas we already know what are the things that we fear and what are the things that we know a bit uh, based on our md or dnb preparation so accordingly you can divide approximately five to six days uh, for every speciality and uh, uh, for this you have to make your own timetable based on your own strengths and weaknesses and after you've uh, divided uh, your timetable of the first 70 days five to six days each for every speciality and then uh, at the end of that week you can uh, go go and give a test now this test can be given on apps like prep ladder or if you have other sources you should give a test after preparing or going through that speciality once um, for one week so, uh, in a similar manner you can uh, keep on going and keep on uh, reading one after the other uh, specialities giving five four or approximately seven days and if you will uh, keep on going in this way roughly by the end of 70 days you will have gone through pediatrics as a, a subject as a whole at least once now still you will have another uh, 60 days before the exam those 60 days have to be divided into two parts the first 35 days should be divided for, uh, should be kept for the first revision and the next 25 days for the second revision so the fund of tracking any entrance exam is that you have to not only read but also revise what you've read and at least twice if you have read once and revised twice i think that is enough because you have already have read all those topics for your md exit examination so once you've uh, revised in the first 35 days, you'll further come to know what are your weaknesses and strengths and those are the areas you should 
uh, keep in mind while revising for the second time now 130 days is just appropriate time it cannot be said that this is ample amount of time and uh, you can use it as gracefully as you want to so i think this is the time uh, when things like prep ladder can help us uh, you can go through the videos revise the notes and the hard copy of the notes are also available now so i think uh, this is the time when a prep ladder can be most useful you can also take help of excel sheets so in the excel sheet you can write date wise in what period of time you intend to cover one topic and what are the tentative dates of revision of that topic and the third revision of that topic so once you have covered that topic you can change the color from red to yellow to green so as the exam is approaching you will feel more and more confident when you see that uh, the topics uh, all, all those topics that you have revised three times have green colors and through this if you identify some topic which is weak you can um, it's not hard and fast that you have to revise, revise everything thrice if something you know already nicely you can revise it two times only and you can uh, focus on weak areas and revise them four or five times so you can uh, maintain some flexibility in that regard and excel sheets can be useful